Hey there, Stefan. My name's Brandon. Um, I, I'll give you a call on Friday. I don't know if you remember me or not, because <laughs> a lot happens in that time. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you this quick video. I uh, just, sorry, I'm just not getting to it. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to show you a couple different things that uh, can help your reps website rank better. And you can take these things and use them at your own free will as you wish. However, if you want some help or if you have any questions, all you have to do is reach out to me. So, um, you're probably wondering, like, why am I doing this and what's in it for me? Well, I found that many business owners like yourself um, are so busy with work that it's hard to find time to better understand the internet. And so I found that just by giving a couple tips really helps out a lot. So I'm just going to jump right on in here and show you those couple different things because I know you're a busy guy. So, uh, honestly, I love your website. It looks great. <laughs> I like the logo. I like uh, what you do here. I like the pictures. I like the testimonials. Everything looks really good. Really, really good. Now, um, one, of the th one of the first things I want to talk to you about real quick is content. So that's all the words on your web page. So Google wants to see between 1,500 to 2,000 words on your web page in order for them to consider you an authority online. And that's also reflected on your Google Index score, which is up here. Here's a tool I use. It's called SQ. Your Google Index score is 1 and your Bing Index score is 1. So that while that means that you have like a really really good looking website, um, it doesn't. It means that you're not you don't really have much influence online. It shows that while you're here, not really many people are noticing you. Not many people are getting onto your website. And so one of the first things you want to do is that you want to make sure you have plenty of content on your website so Google considers you an authority because they don't rank people that they don't know. Okay, they don't rank people who are not considered experts. Okay, so that's the first thing. You want to make sure you have a lot of those. Second, uh, you want to make sure you have a lot of different backlinks on your website. You want, to, you want to have a lot of these right here. And just to show you a little bit of contrast right quick, I pulled up your competitor, Pippin Tree Service. Their Google Index is 7 and their Bing Index is 7. If we scroll down here, you can tell like these guys have a lot more content on their website on their web page. So let me just scroll down a little bit further. So, um, and they, they also have a lot of stuff that are you know a little bit of description on each of these different backlinks right here so whenever it comes to your backlinks you want to have a lot of these different things right here the reason why is it shows people like well it helps people find what they're looking for so if a person goes onto your website they can go hover over services and they see tree trimming tree removal tree planting but if you do stump grinding as well nobody really knows that you do that so that's why it's pretty important to make sure you have that built out so that people can find exactly what they're looking for. Another thing that's pretty important is things like this right here. You want people to know where you work at. And you can also make us like service areas tabs. You can make a careers tab if you're looking to hire people, all those different things too. Now, whenever it comes to these different backlinks, that's the whole purpose of it is to help people find what they're looking for so that they don't go to another website okay that's the first thing but also it helps google because it's a popularity contest they want to make sure that whoever has the most built out website gets the most people okay so that's the second thing you're going to have content then you'll have a lot of these different backlinks and finally last thing is you want to have a lot of different citations so a citation is another website that has your business name, your business phone number, and operating hours located on it. Things like, you know, Yelp or Yellow Pages, um, Chamber of Commerce, all those different ones are considered citations. Now, um, what I did here is I just typed in Tree Service and Clayton, and these are top people that popped up. Now, as you can tell, Blackbeard Tree Service, Hermes Tree Service, Pippin Tree Service is down here. Um, now, these guys have about 15 different citations. So our goal would be to get at least 60 or more. That way we can beat these guys by a landslide, you know, and dominate your local market. Citations are important to Google because it shows Google that you are a reputable company. While you may have a great business offline, like wonderful looking business offline, uh, Google doesn't really know who you are and that's reflected by their index scores on you. And this would be one of the uh, one of the top ways to help build up your reputability with Google 
because they don't rank people that they don't trust. And that's why it's pretty important. So one thing that is pretty cool about this tool is I can see your competitors and I can see exactly which citations they have and which ones they don't have. Again, like Yelp, Facebook, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Now there's a huge list of these different things. Now, um, you can make an account with these guys if you want to. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Some of them you do have to pay for, like these ones that are in blue. <clears throat> However, if we were to work together, then uh, we assume all the cost on that simply because of our business partnerships. So just as a recap, you want to have a lot of citations. So Google, Google considers you an authority online or a reputable company online. Second, you want to make sure that you have a lot of different backlinks like this right here so people can find exactly what they're looking for. And finally, you want to make sure you have a lot of different content on your website. So Google considers you an authority online. Okay. So just, there's just a couple of different tips. If you have found them helpful, hopefully you can use them for your business. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you can just reach out to me. Again, my name is Brandon. You can reach out to me at 704-476-6223. In the meantime, be safe and talk to you soon.